So, uh, my name is Michael Weisler, I'm the Deputy Director for Normal here in Arizona, and I've been asked to explain the ballot measures that regard cannabis in the upcoming 2016 election, or let me say, the campaigns that are trying to get on the ballot for the upcoming 2016 election. Remember, here in Arizona, the Citizens Initiative requires a certain number of, of signatures for a ballot measure to even get on the vote. Uh, this year it's going to be 150,000 and some change. There's six, count of one, two, three, four, five, six different ballot measures that have the word cannabis in them somewhere. Let's take it through the easy ones first. The first one filed was called Hemp Our World and it's a Mer uh, Regulate Hemp Act. Uh, this is being started by, like I say, a group called Hemp Our World. It hasn't really gotten off the ground yet and neither did the next two that were filed. Uh, followed by a guy named Mike Ross, a uh, philosopher on drug policy. Uh, one of his is called uh, Relegalize All Drugs, which is RAD. That's the name of his campaign organization. The other is Relegalize Marijuana. Now, these three ballot measures uh, have not really gathered any money uh, or press momentum, so they're not likely to make, but they are powerful philosophical statements. We support them for that. A similar bent is uh, a ballot measure which uh, affects medical card patients. Here in Arizona, if you have a medical card, you have to pay a, a, about a $300 fee, $150 to the state and $100 to your uh, physician to certify that you qualify under the 14 qualifying conditions. Well, people are saying that that should be removed, that fee, and so there's a ballot measure for that. That's also having poor time getting funding and doesn't really have a, a substantial campaign. Right now there's only two ballot measures that, that have a chance, or campaigns that have a chance to actually get on the ballot. One is the MPP ballot measure, regulate marijuana like alcohol. MPP stands for the Marijuana Policy Project. They're a national organization and they've won eight of their last 11 campaigns. They've also assisted the State House is in decriminalizing marijuana in several different states. But not everybody was happy with that ballot measure, and after that was filed and it started collecting petitions at the end of May, people who wanted more uh, formed a different campaign, Arizonans for Mindful Regulation, AZFMR, and they have a ballot measure that's largely based on MPPs, but has some additional citizens protections and also uh, changes some of the numbers, like how many marijuana plants you're allowed to grow. This uh, seems appealing to many different people, Again, the issue is whether or not it has a campaign. Uh, I had been part of the drafting process with MPP and used to be the political director of Safer Arizona, a group that is now backing that AZ FMR. But I don't believe that it has a campaign, so I uh, had to leave them and was appointed normal to try to advance all six of these campaigns. If there's a way to do it, I appreciate the chance to be on television and tell you about it. So uh, could you tell us some of the details about the MPP uh, initiative? Yes. Uh, like, for example, is it a decrim decriminalization or is it legalization or is there a, an amount that you could actually possess? You know, give us some of those sort of yes. details. The MPP ballot measure is a tax and regulate legalization ballot measure which will make the possession of marijuana legal and really govern the sales. Uh, a person will be allowed to grow six plants in their own residence, uh, provided that they don't you know, conflict with their landlord's instructions. Uh, Twelve plants per household, if you have two adults that wish to do this. You can transport one ounce of marijuana, you can keep all the marijuana that you grow at your home, and you consume it, you can share it for free with friends. If you wish to sell it, the new ballot measure is going to break the marijuana industry into five discrete licenses. Uh, retail license, uh, testing license, pro uh, manufacturing license, creating edibles or concentrates, transportation or wholesale license, and then of course the cultivation license. The MPP proposal includes a small uh, like 100 square feet for $7,500 annual fee and then $3,000 uh, renewal. And then it goes all the way up to a $30,000 fee for unlimited. And there's people who are right now buying acreage because they expect that Arizona is going to support legalization. Um, the other uh, components in the bill that I'm particularly proud of, it uh, changes uh, state law regarding marijuana and uh, what a school is. Uh, so this will protect people who are over 21 and happen to have marijuana at an adult learning facility or a college. 
Uh, it protects uh, parenting rights. It can't be you. Marijuana cannot be used as a challenge for custody or in part of divorce hearings or CPS. Uh, it also is going to protect uh, professional licenses such as realtors, doctors, lawyers, teachers. Your license will no longer be threatened by uh, having marijuana. Um, those are some of the highlights that I'm particularly proud of. In the long run, uh, there's going to be uh, marijuana on-site consumption, so you can have coffee shops like they have over in Amsterdam, delivery services, but these are in the long run as the state adjusts to, to the reality of legal marijuana. Um, the, what funds are collected, it's going to be a 15% tax on this, and the tax goes to uh, education, 80% goes to education, uh, for uh, teacher salaries, building maintenance, all day kindergarten, and then 20% is going to go to public health. Can you tell us briefly uh, what's the, the main difference between the MPP one and the uh, measure that Safer Arizona is uh, backing? The biggest difference for me personally is the campaign. I would not complain about living under the, uh, the laws of the AZFMR. Uh, specific differences is they increase the plant count from six plants per person to 12 plants per person and an unlimited number for a household. So if you had 80 people living in your household, you could have, in theory, 960 plants. Uh, they also uh, raise the uh, penalties for possessing more than one ounce. Under MPPs, possessing more than one ounce but up to two ounces is a petty fine. Under theirs, uh, possessing one ounce up to two and a half ounces is a ticket. And then, um, State statute kicks in under AZ or under the MPP ballot measure, which makes things a felony. Uh, the AZ FMR protects people up to half a pound from from felony charges. Okay, so now does either one of these um, uh, get into the idea of hemp farming? Yes, uh, like I say, the AZ FMR's ballot measure is largely based on MPPs. They changed parts that they didn't like. But one thing that everybody approved of is, is in the findings and throughout the document of MPP, this calls for the legalization of hemp. It sets up that it can be governed under the Department of Marijuana, but it also provides an opportunity for the state legislature to regulate that if that turns out to be preferable. All right, that's great. That's a very good explanation. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you so much. <laughs>